Today I'm replacing the auxiliary water pump on my most recent purchase, a 2014 VW Touareg 3.0 litre TDI V6. But the model and engine shouldn't matter. This electric coolant pump should be in the same position on all of the models. This graph OE quality part was £60 trade. The location of the pump, whilst sounding like it's in the dashboard, is actually in the front wheel arch. And luckily for me, it's in the passenger wheel arch and this car has been involved in a crash, which is not something that I thought I would say is lucky, but it means that I'll be able to show you much easier the location of the pump. So what you'll need to do is loosen the wheel arch liner, which will be held on with T20 torque screws. You don't need to remove it fully, but you can if you wish. And under here, you'll see the pump tucked away at the top there. So it does look like, initially it looks like there's two, but I'm not sure what this one is. Possibly some sort of thermostat or valve that only opens when it's up to temperature or something like this. So the, the pump is there and you can access it, but what I'm going to do, since the, this wing is barely attached, I'm going to remove it and give you a much better view of the job. So I've dropped the wheel arch out liner, just as much as you could if you were doing the job, just remove the T20 torque screws. But I can now remove the front wing because there were barely any bolts holding it in position and this gives us a full view of what you will be changing. Lo and behold, once again, I don't even work on cars full time but yet this happens way too often. GSF have apparently supplied me with the wrong part. A three pin connector on here, two pin connector on the wiring harness. The ports are in the right position, but this is incompatible with this car. So continue another day when I can get the right part. Since I'm already here and I may not end up replacing it when I take the other one back, I'll show you what needs to be done. This one is noisy, but I'm not sure if it was running dry, so it may actually still be all right. Got a 10mm nut underneath. Obviously, your access will be much different to mine. You remove the 10mm from the clamp. Remove the connector. And then all you've got are two hoses. So two very strong hose clamps that you'll need to release. There is a special tool for releasing those type of clips. And obviously you won't be able to do this with the wing on, but basically all you need to do is undo the clip.
and twist off the hose. The same for both of them. And pretty obvious really, pretty self evident what needs to be done. Just replace the pump, reconnect the connector and fit the nut back on the clamp.